He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the teeth. It's Gary, baby. Oh. Right, Rick's Bottom Morning Show. And it's same as being bought by Boost Mobile. That's right. Feel the power of saving at Boost Mobile. Get plans that fit your budget on America's largest 5G network. More power to save. Boost Mobile. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Thursday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Actress Laverne Cox, y'all, from Orange is the New Black and so many other shows she appeared on, y'all. She revealed, y'all, that she never, ever wants to become a parent, baby. She said parenthood is one of the most rewarding hoods to be part of and according to her she said being a parent is the most important job on the planet now she said despite the pros Laverne recently shared y'all that she has no interest in playing that role in life now they're saying that the actress took to her Instagram with a celebratory message to the people in her life who have become parents recently and revealed that she never wants to be one she said quote I see so many friends and colleagues becoming parents I'm so happy for all of you she said, I'm even happier for me, ecstatic even that I am not becoming a parent ever, never, ever. <laughs> now, she said, the thought brings me so much joy. Then she went on to say that she wants to focus on recreating a better childhood for herself, despite the enjoyment that she has watching her loved ones become parents. She said, enjoy the most important job, the planet, raising children. She said, I'm enjoying watching you from a distance. She said, I'm doing the work of reparenting my um inner child. She said that's more important and that's more enough work. And she also wanted to say, y'all, that she's been pretty candid about what her fans about her childhood and the work that she's done to overcome the struggles that she faced. She said while, you know, she was speaking to Zach Parsons back in 2018, she said that the biggest challenge that she's faced as an adult is truly embracing herself, y'all. And she went on and on, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. She said she don't want to be a parent. You know, it got messy people out there, child, but I'm like, child, leave it alone. So, but um, she said what that. What the messy people say? Girl, you no, know what they no say. No evil. Okay. No evil. <laughs> it sounded like you wanted to say it. No, he do. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a good thing. To each his yeah. own. Everyone doesn't want to be a parent is not cut out to be a parent. And her putting it out there in the public, it makes others that might feel that way feel more comfortable with their decision. Really? Well, I think parenthood is a good thing, honey. If they not had parents, then we wouldn't be here. And she wouldn't be here. So, you know, but that's her choice. Congratulations to her. Yo, All right. Man, that's, how, that's how you got here. Can you just imagine the things that your mama did with your dad? <laughs> I know, Ricky. Is sad. I you don't want to think about it. I, Ricky, it's very tough. Imagine, imagine your mama just, your daddy, just, Gary. <laughs> yes. Michael Singer met, stood up in it. Daddy, I'm talking about told your mama up. Because it was a whole bunch. How many of y'all was? It's five of us from my immediate Gary, family. your mama's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> She's a super no, freak. No, she was not. That same getting ready to go to heaven, mama, that ain't the mama from back in the day when you when, before y'all got there. Your mama did some things. I was created, honey. I was not born. It was, it was five clear. of y'all. Come on now. You know, your mama was putting it down. And stuff like that. Mr. Mr. Hayes told me. Mr. Hayes told me. He said, he, he told me before he left this earth. He said, he said, hey, I had, I had to stand up. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you don't want to think about it. It's hard to think about, Gary. It's very hard and it's but, painful. But, but, but if your daddy didn't that. do what he did and your mama uh, didn't do what she did, we would not man. have the tea. Exactly, honey. Yes, exactly. Uh, so just remember, at the end you. of the day, when all said and done, your mama's a freak. <laughs> oh, moving on, child. Another celebrity news, y'all. Meg the Stallion, honey, and her record label, 1501 Certified Entertainment. Y'all continue to be very messy, y'all. They're saying that Megan has reported, uh, reported contacted the court system, honey. This girl went to the court for help. Now, they're saying, according to releasing court documents, Meg the Stallion alleged that her record label is stopping her, honey, from releasing a brand new song with popular K-pop group BTS, and she wants a judge, honey, to step in to make things right. That happens with y'all, Brad? Y'all got to go to court to get your song, uh, to sing your song? It depends on what you go through sometimes. That is sad. Poor Meg, I mean, that woman, the girl, she knew and she out and stuff, honey. She should be able to go ahead on and sing her song and do whatever, and the people don't want her to sing it. That's sad. I mean, she needs to sue him, honey, and she needs to sue the doggone man who's trying to stop her from putting a doggone song out. All she want to do is work like everybody else. Said, don't you get paid when you work, and don't they get paid? Hmm. Brad, you okay? I, I mean, I hear you, Gary. Yeah, oh, okay. people get That's, paid. 
Let's pray. The, don't All be right. messy. Let's just pray. Okay, let's pray. And while we praying, y'all, let's continue to pray, y'all, for Leonard's ex, y'all, baby. He got on Twitter, baby, to call out people for not um, complaining about skateboard, honey. Tony Hawk's now. That's a sad thing. Now they say Tony Hawk's honey. He got his little um, skateboards and whatever. And Lil Nas, Lil Nas X tried to talk about his sneakers with blood, but they said now this guy got blood features all over his dog on skateboard. But ain't nobody said nothing to him. But y'all all jumped on Lil Nas about. It. He said now Tony Hawk has released skateboards with his blood painted on it, and there was no public outrage. He said y'all ready to admit. Mm-hmm. Y'all were never actually upset over the blood on in the shoes. And maybe you were mad with some other reason. But now Safari stepped in, honey. He said, wait a minute. Okay. He said, it's not the blood, honey. It was the whole 666 and trying yes. to associate the devil with it. He said, he said we don't mm-hmm. need to act like we out here worshiping the devil. Let's leave that to the KKK, honey. And that's what he Safari told Lil Nas. The only blood we need to be thinking about is the huh? blood of Jesus. Come that's on. It. That's I it. That's it. That's the only blood. the blood I has kept me. it was the blood. From day to day, yes. oh, the blood of Jesus. Yes. Come on now. Oh, the blood. the blood. It will never, never lose its power. Come on now. Lose its power. Yes. My Lord. It's, uh, My Lord. Yeah, it's the only blood we need to be worried about. Come on now. His mm. blood when he died upon the cross. <laughs> yes. And got up on the third day. And he, yes. rose, he rose with all power. Yes. <sighs> And <laughs> he came. Yeah. And yes. He died. Yes, he did. Well, we can live. Come on now, Jesus. He died. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right, that's your calling, honey. You missing your calling. The clue today is rosewood on the high end, light pink on the low. That's the clue for the day. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Give it up again with the T12. Y'all, come on, 12.